Some hospital cafeterias could be making you sick. Two investigator Pam Zekman looked at the inspection reports for 12 Chicago hospitals and found critical food violations. Worse yet, she discovered a bureaucratic snafu that leaves some hospitals with no oversight at all. Here's her original report. In 2014, the kitchen at Strozier Hospital had a critical violation for a broken dishwasher that was not sanitizing dishes and another for chicken stored at dangerous temperatures. I think it's terrible, actually, because this is a hospital after all, and you would think that they would be more interested in the well-being of the patients. In 2014, Resurrection Hospital had multiple critical food temperature violations. Lettuce, eggs, cheese sauce, Italian sausages, and burgers all had to be thrown out. Food that is not stored at the proper temperature is likely to grow bacteria, which could make people ill. Illinois Masonic and Mount Sinai hospitals both failed inspections in 2014. And at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, the visitor cafeteria failed two inspections in 2014 for the presence of fruit flies and food temperature issues. That cafeteria is now closed for remodeling. These are the violations we know about from inspection reports we obtained, but there could be many more problems. During our review of city inspection reports, we discovered that some hospital kitchens that prepare food for patients have not been inspected for years. We were told by the city that the state was doing the inspections of the patient kitchens, and the state said the city was doing it. What happened? There was a miscommunication between the state health department and local health departments. Back at Northwestern, the patient-only kitchen hasn't been inspected since 2013. And at Rush Medical Center, the patient kitchen was last checked in 2012 by a not-for-profit accrediting agency. Both hospitals refused to release those inspection results. After our inquiries, the Illinois Department of Health sent out this memo instructing local health officials to inspect both public and patient kitchens from now on. So the kitchens devoted to patient services were falling between the cracks? We won't know um, how many inspections we haven't done until we do the inspections in this quarter. Who do you think dropped the ball? I have no idea. Pam Zekman, CBS2 Investigators. The inspections of all 38 of Chicago's hospital kitchens, both patient and public, should be completed soon. All the hospitals referenced in Pam's report say that food safety is a critical concern and that any problems were fixed after the failed inspections. We have more on the various hospital responses on our website.